Hi again. In this video, we are going to go over the power of the right click in Maestro, as well as how to access the various calculations and applications. Before we start, open your Maestro intro project and include the pre prepared protein structure that you imported in the first video, CDK2 prepared. This should be in row one of your entry list. Anytime you'd like to modify or take a closer look at something in the workspace, try right clicking on it. Let's say you want to modify a particular residue. Select the residue by double clicking and then right click. Options for interacting with this object are shown. Once again, we see the select first paradigm in action. Take a look at what these options are. For example, you can change the display, change the style, or expand the selection. You can center the view on the selection, mutate the residue, delete the selected atoms, as well as perform some other edits. Now select a single atom in your workspace and right click. You will see a similar menu with options appropriate for the selection. You can even right click on the workspace itself. Saving an image or clearing the workspace are commonly used actions in this menu. Pause the video and take a moment to right click on a few more things to see what you can do. For now, we're going to move on to show you how to split the structure into different entries. So instead of one entry with the protein and ligand, we will have two entries, one with the protein and one with a ligand. If we had solvent molecules in our entry, we would also have a separate entry for those. This will allow you to do things like comparing different ligands or declutter your workspace without modifying the original entry. In the entry list, right click on the CDK2 prepared entry. Just like when we right clicked on the atoms in the workspace, many options will appear. While we will be covering several of these throughout the course, right now we would like to split out the different parts of the structure. Choose split and then into ligands, water, other. When we do that, the original entry is preserved and a new group is created with two entries, one with just a ligand and one with just the protein. This allows us to easily interact with one part of the whole PDB structure at a time. Notice that the 3D coordinates of the molecules of each of the entries are equivalent to what they were in the original entry. Let's include just the ligand as we will be modifying this in the next video. To get us ready for the upcoming tasks, let's take a look at how to access various calculations in Maestro. Above the workspace, you can see what's called the Favorites toolbar. This is an easy way to open applications in Maestro that you use frequently. Several favorites appear by default, like protein preparation and ligand interaction but you are also able to customize the favorites bar to include applications of your choice. We will be covering that shortly. Now in the top right of the Maestro interface, you will see the Tasks button. This is where you can go to access all applications and calculations within Maestro. You can either search with a keyword, at which points panels matching that keyword will come up, or you can hover over Browse and navigate by the type of task you are looking for. Go ahead and choose Ligand Preparation and Library Design in the top center row. In the top left, under 2D to 3D Conversion, you will see Lig Prep. The functionality of this panel will be introduced more thoroughly later, but for now, hover over Lig Prep so it is highlighted in blue, and then click the outline of the star on the left. This is how you can add an application to your favorites toolbar. If you click away from the task tool now, you can see that Lig Prep appears in your favorites toolbar. Likewise, you can click again in the star to remove it from your favorites toolbar. Or simply right click the button in the toolbar itself. Let's leave Lig Prep in as a favorite. You are now familiar with using right click to access further options for interacting with an object in Maestro, either by searching or browsing. We also know how to add to your favorites toolbar. In the next set of videos, we will focus on creating and modifying molecules within Maestro. Thanks.